Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. My dear brothers and sisters from Adam, no matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, green, doesn't even matter. What I'm about to hand you is the keys. The keys to freeing you from bondage, freeing you from enslavement of creation, and freeing you from the enslavement of yourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned in the Quran, Ma the jinnah wa insa illa I did not create the jinn or men except that they worship me. So the first step to freeing yourself from being enslaved is to know your purpose of creation. Why were you created in the first place? Allah created you solely for the purpose of worshiping him. You were created to worship the one that created you. The simplicity of this and understanding submission Submission to the will of the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything in between is automatically frees you from any and every other form of slavery. Secondly, I'm hearing a lot of talk about lineage. People trying to ascribe themselves to tribes and all kinds of things. Like this gives you superiority or seniority in some way, shape or form over creation. False narrative. Allah says in the Quran, Qul amanna billahi wa ma unzila alayna. Wa ma unzila ala Ibrahim. Allah says, say, we believe in Allah and what he has sent down to us. And what he has sent to Abraham, what he has sent to Ismail, what he sent to Isaac, and what he sent to Jacob, and what he sent to the 12 tribes, the 12 sons of Jacob. And what he has given to Moses, and what he has given to Jesus, and to all the prophets from their Lord. And we do not show no distinction between any of them. And to him, meaning the law, we have submitted. So look at this. We believe in everything that the law revealed. Everything he revealed to the first prophet, our father, Adam. You're not a child of God. You're a child of man. Adam is our father. He was the first prophet. The first messenger was Noah. All the way to the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they all called to the same thing. They all had one religion. And that was the call to worship Allah and Allah alone. This is simple. This is why Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Because anybody who has sound mind and a sound heart that can identify with the simplicity of what I'm saying, you will only be holding yourself back from accepting the truth. Submission to the creator that has in the earth frees you from every other form of slavery. The prophet saw you telling me also mentioned if you are held up, if you are held up and entering the gates of paradise, your lineage won't get you there any faster. Your lineage will not get you there any faster. Not even the children or wives of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would enter paradise by way of their relationship to the Prophet, by way of their race, by way of their skin, their ethnicity, nationality. None of this gets you to skip the line. You don't get to skip the line. You only enter paradise by way of Allah's mercy. Your deeds don't count. You can do all the good deeds in the world. If Allah doesn't bestow his mercy upon you and allow you to enter his paradise, you won't enter. So these are simple things, man. So for all of you entertainers, influencers, you know, that's new to Islam, take the time out to learn your religion. Stop getting out there saying all this crazy stuff and putting yourself in the trick bag. These people who have created contingencies for people who are ignorant, ignorant of their purpose of creation, ignorant of understanding who their Lord is, ignorant of understanding who the messenger that was sent to free us from, Oppression and all of these things that reside in our society. If you really want freedom, I just gave you the key. But you gotta take the handcuffs and the shackles off yourself. I can't do it for you. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.